British High Commissioner to Zambia, Figgles uh, Cochrane, has advised the government to allow commercial farmers to export maize to Zambia's neighboring countries if the nation recalls a bumper harvest in the 2016-2017 farming season. Mr. Cochrane says the exportation of the maize to the neighboring countries will be beneficial to the country's economy and that it will also enable the country to be recognized as the major exporter of maize in the region which the nation at Sitinsri would also be proud of. Cochrane says that the next step that the government should consider was the exportation of maize but the priority was to ensure there was adequate stock in the food reserve and that there was need for the country to avoid dependence on copper but to diversify and have an emphasis on agriculture. The High Commissioner also visited the Zambia Sugar Company in Mazalbukal and also visited some beneficiaries of the UK Emergency Catch Transfer in Pemba and thereafter proceeded to Chomal and also to visit Livingstone. Outsourcing company Capital, CPIL, and phone retailer Dizon Scarp Phone will leave Britain's Blue Ship Fits 100 share index following Fitzel Russell's quarterly review. Fitzel Russell says in a statement late on Wednesday that Mid Cap Investment Trust, Scottish Mortgage, SMTL, and Pest Control Company, Rental Q, Initial, would be promoted to the index of Britain's biggest companies. The changes to constituents will be applied after market close on March 17th and come into force the following tra trading day, March 28th. Following steps decline in their share price, capital and uh, Dizon's car phone are currently the smallest by market value on the index and they will join the Fitzel Mid-Cap FTMC Index. Capital first entered the Fitzel 100 in 2000 but was in the Mid-Cap Index from 2003 to 2004. For the British Blue Ship Index companies, which falls to 111th or lower in the ranking by market values on the review date, could be deleted to be replaced by the largest non-constituent. The increasing popularity of exchange trade funds has lent greater importance to the constitution of major benchmark index and led to index rebalancing days becoming major among the busiest across major markets as ETFs tweak holding to match the index that track. The stories from around